Okay, in this video, I'm going to explain how to do uh, vertical exaggeration. So this is a profile of um, a crater in Arizona. And we've got the elevation over here in feet. And then our profile along the bottom with our scale. First thing we have to do is determine the ratio scale of each of the axes. <clears throat> so this one, I see that an inch on that scale, one inch equals 0 0.25 miles. Now always write the units or you get everything mixed up. It just goes badly. Now we do the same thing over here. We measured an inch there. We'll measure an inch over here or any unit that's the same. Whatever you can measure over here, you measure the exact same distance over here. So if I measured half an inch over here, I'd measure half an inch over here. An inch over here, inch over here. Two inches over here, two inches over here. It has to be the exact same distance. That's the way we can get our ratio of how much this is exaggerated or stretched vertically compared to the horizontal scale. So I'm going to measure well, it's not quite right, but on the computer it's supposed to be right, so we're going to assume that it works. Uh, that's the way I had created it, because this is kind of a bit of a creation. Not totally, but the profile itself um, is fudged a little bit to make it work for this particular example. So we'll say that this, from there to there, is an inch. So when I calculate how many feet that is, this is horizontal. We'll just put H. And this is vertical. And the difference between these, one inch equals 200 feet. Now to determine the ratio, that's, but to get the ratio of what, how these are related, the units have to be the same. So I can choose, I can turn this into feet or this into miles. I decided to take this 0 0.25 miles and multiply that by the 5,280 feet which is one mile. So that's the conversion factor. Oops, miles goes away. Multiply those together. I get 1320 feet. Now, to divide the distance scale by the um, elevation scale, that will give me my vertical exaggeration or VE will equal my distance scale, which is this one, and I um, write that on top. And I divide it by my horizontal scale, 200 feet. Then I divide those together, and that will bring me to 6.6 .6 times. So that means this scale is stretched 6.6 .6 times relative to this one. If one inch equals 1,300 feet, then I'd have to squish all of this down into one inch or less. Since this is only 200 feet, that's another 200 feet. So you see, I'd have to really squish it down. And in that case, it would probably all fit in here. And it might be quite hard to even see any elevation change at all. So that's why we do vertical exaggeration. And we would just report this out as 6.6 .6 times. No units because they divide out. And that's how you calculate vertical exaggeration.